It's nearly supper time at the Wooden Monkey, but it's snowy and cold and months away from peak season. The owner says they're just trying to keep the lights on. I just want to break even. That's my goal. We want to make sure that we're here as long as we've been here a long time, 18 and a half years, going on 19, and we want to continue. This year, everything costs more. Food, cooking oil, heating, fuel. Even after upping menu prices, she says expenses are ballooning. Everybody's running through the same things, whether it be in their household budgets or their work budgets. I think everybody's challenged in the same way. Restaurants Canada says half of its members are not turning a profit. It says in the last year, some 5,000 Canadian restaurants have closed. That's about 5% of restaurants. And there are more than 160,000 job vacancies in the industry. And that's about 10% of total jobs. Making things worse, one word, inflation. Oh, it's eviscerating uh, the, the little profit that restaurants had right across Canada. Richard Alexander says it's an extra challenge for restaurants, which felt the brunt of public health restrictions during the pandemic. COVID. Uh, recovery has just begun and then on top of that you lay over over lay on top of that you have huge labor challenges uh, in the in the industry and then you know things like the price of lettuce goes up 400 uh, percent so it's it's very very difficult time for for the industry profit margins are already tight in the restaurant industry some other high-end restaurants in halifax including this one julep kitchen recently went under citing skyrocketing costs Staff at the Wooden Monkey say they're working with suppliers to cut better deals and hopefully make a profit. I am optimistic and you have to stay that way because otherwise what's, what are you doing? Bauer says that optimism is powering her to get through these next tough months. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Halifax.